hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video um, I'm gonna discuss about one of the feature of automator AI that is autopilot autopilot from automation anywhere what exactly autopilot is how you can leverage this feature which is a part of automator AI in case you have not watched my previous video please go and watch that I have covered all the capabilities that are available as part of automator AI and what kind of licensing what kind of enablement you need that's all covered in that video so please check it out I'll give the link in the description as well so what exactly is autopilot as the name suggests if you have created a flow diagram let's say bpmn diagram bpmn is business process model and notation it's kind of a diagram where you uh, where the process architects or bas they they capture the as is and to be processes like right, in the form of a flow diagram or maybe as a part of preparing a tdd right you also as a solution developer or an architect you prepare a flow diagram like this is how you want your automation to be so now with this feature with this autopilot feature if you create a flow diagram in a bpm and format and and then you give it to if you you upload it on automation anywhere's platform you have a capability to generate a bot code or a flow within your automation uh, using this flow diagram we'll see this in action let's dive in to the screen so i have logged in to automation anywhere platform and in my private repo i have created a folder called automator ai you can name it anything um, inside that what we are supposed to do so we are supposed to upload a bpmn diagram here so as i as i told you right uh, from bpmn diagram we will generate a process or a bot so let me go to one of the site called bpmn.io using this website you can you can try to create a bpmn diagram right so what I will do is I'll, I have created already one of the BPMN diagram for a simple, very basic use case, which is like um, there is a QR code. A user need to scan the QR code. If the if the QR code has been scanned properly, then open the product information in a mobile app, and then the end of the process. It's a successful scenario. In case the scan is not successful, then the user has to given an option to rescan. So this is one simple process. Um, it can be any process, any like multi multi layer interactions between customer, then approver, reviewer. Uh, it can be any kind of automations, right? Uh, which you draw. This is very simple, just to let you understand what what is this concept and how this works. So now what I will do, I'll download this diagram and uh, it in a in a dot bpmn file format and then i'll go here and i'll upload it so let me upload that file qr code bpmn so this is uploaded now as you can see here once you upload the bpmn file and go to three dots you see an option called generate automation that option will not be available for any other file format it is for bpmn file format because that's what it is supported at the moment so once i click on generate automation it will it will create a process flow uh, it will create a process composer it will create task box so let me just refresh it and here we go as you can see here this was the only file present earlier and when we created it created a when we generated the automation it created a qr uh, process with this name then ta then two different task bots let's open the process it followed the naming convention um, as per the process description you can tweak that so if you see this process composer within process composer you'll find the steps that were there in the flow diagram your bpmn diagram so the, the process starts from here then there is a bot which uh, is for functionality called scan qr code as we specified that and then it is in that uh, in the uh, over there it is calling that bot scan qr code bot which is here let me open that bot let me open the open product info bot as well so it 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 gave you a skeleton from your bpmn diagram so rather than you dragging and dropping and creating this process composer it has given you 
a boilerplate code or a skeleton to work with right to to work from that point and these are the tasks created so at the moment there is nothing right um, it has just created a task and uh, with a bit basic steps like comment and try catch mechanism similarly the other task bot as well so let me close them and here it has added the condition also based on our flow diagram so whether the scan is successful then do this otherwise do that do this if it is successful then open the product information so there is another task bot here right so it it cannot uh, mention the condition because i mean it is not so intelligent like on what condition basis on basis of what it should decide whether it's true or false so we can we can make those tweaks rather than starting from scratch it's a boilerplate code or a template that is available to us to start from and to to work enhancing that so um this is what i wanted to show you um so if you import a bpm and diagram and then click on generate automation it will generate the process composer and relevant task bots for you and you can take it forward from there onwards so thank you so much uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs and share it among with your friends colleagues whoever would like to use this feature and um, i'm not sure whether it's uh, this feature is available in community edition i i don't think so as of now um but um, but this is how it works if if you are part of if you have if you are part of an organization who have purchased automated ai license then you will get to see this feature in action thank you so much please comment down below and thanks for your time